Hey guys, what's up? This is Bharat and today we are checking out the new Honor V9. We're going to be unboxing it and taking our first look. So let's get started. Now the Honor V9 is also known as the Honor 8 Pro in certain markets. So depending on where you're coming from, it could be the Honor 8 Pro or the Honor V9. Now the phone is expected to launch in India in the early parts of July, which is next month. But we've got an exclusive first hands-on impression for you guys over here. So let's quickly open the box up. The first thing inside the box is the phone itself. Let me get rid of the packaging real quick. If we go further in, you do get a standard wall charger. Now this is a fast charging wall charger and you also get a USB type C cable. Also inside the box is a bunch of documentation and a SIM ejector tool. Now there's a cool thing inside the box. It allows you to convert your box into a VR headset. So the V9 has an impressive quad HD display. So you can convert the box of the phone into a VR display thanks to the included lenses and the cutout shape of the box in which you can insert the phone and then put on this cardboard piece and your box becomes your VR headset. Interesting packaging over there from Honor. Now let's take a quick look at the device itself. So over at the front you get an 8 megapixel f2 camera. Now this is capable of shooting 1920 by 1080p video. The phone also has a 5.7 inch IPS LCD display. It's an LTPS IPS LCD display with a 2560 by 1440 pixel resolution and Corning Gorilla Glass 3 over at the front which means that the phone is resilient to scratches since Gorilla Glass 3 was more focused towards scratches. Now the Android buttons are on screen and there is nothing on the bottom chin except the Honor branding and if you move over to the bottom of the device it's quite identical to what we saw on the OnePlus 5 so you get a USB Type-C port along with the two screws that hold everything together, the main microphone, the 3.5mm headphone jack and also the main speakerphone. Over the right is where the power button is. The power button has a nice texture and you can feel it when you run your finger on it. And you also have the volume button. Both of these are also made out of metal. And if you go over to the top, you do have a secondary noise cancellation microphone along with an IR blaster, which is becoming more and more rare in slightly higher end phones nowadays. Over the left is the hybrid SIM trace. You can pop in either two SIM cards or one SIM card and one micro SD card. If we move over to the back, we'll see a familiar design. Now this one is a hybrid design in terms of looking like the iPhone. So it looks like the iPhone 6 had dual cameras and uh, that's what it would look like. So if you would imagine the iPhone 6 or the iPhone 6 Plus to have dual cameras, this is sort of the design they would go with. But there's something going on with companies copying the look of the iPhone, but the Honor V9 now has dual cameras at the back. Both of them are 12 megapixel cameras. One is a color camera, the other is a monochrome camera. Both of them have f2.2 lenses. However, thanks to a neat software trick, the company allows you to dumb down the aperture or expand it all the way to 0.95 as an f-stop, which is really interesting. It sort of does what depth mode or portrait mode does on the iPhone and depth mode does on the OnePlus and I'm keen to test it out on the new Honor V9. Now below that you'll see the fingerprint scanner and that's about it. You have a really nice matte black finish over here along with a subtle Honor logo on the bottom bit of the back panel. You can see the antenna bands. All in all the phone is uh, nicely shaped. It feels comfortable in the hand. It is slightly wide for a standard size but it's only 7 millimeters in terms of thinness and is about 77.5 millimeters in terms of width so it's fairly comfortable in the hand. Now running everything is a high silicon Kirin 960 chipset. Now this is an octa-core chipset with four 2.5 gigahertz cores and four 1.8 gigahertz cores. You also get the Mali G71 MP8 GPU. Now the device I have has 128 gigabyte of onboard storage along with six gigabyte of RAM, and it can take in up to 256 gigabyte as additional storage via the micro SD card. The phone does have a 4000 milliamp hour battery and it does support quick charging or fast charging thanks to the charger that is included inside the box. Now the display on the phone is pretty great and it has great viewing angles and visibility indoors as well as outdoors. We also checked out the camera just a little bit and we found the aperture feature to be quite easy to initiate as well as execute and we got a fairly good picture in our initial tests. Also if you swipe over to the left from the main camera user interface you'll find a whole bunch of modes including a full monochrome mode 
mode that allows you to click black and white pictures, uh, which is really artsy and you kind of get into it after some time. You also have other interesting modes like a light painting mode and a time lapse mode, but the phone also has standard pro photo modes and a pro video mode allowing you to get complete control over your imaging and video needs. The camera can capture 12 megapixel shots or 4K video at 30 frames per second. If you want 60 frames per second, you can dumb down to 1080p video. As far as the operating system is concerned, the phone is running EMUI 5.1 out of the box along with Android 7 with a planned upgrade to Android 7.1.1 almost immediately after the release. The user interface is quite customizable and you can switch from a standard layout in which all the apps sit on the home screens to a drawer type layout which is more coherent with Android. Over at the left, much like many other Android devices, including the OnePlus, the Honor V9 has something called the High Board that gives you widgets and app suggestions along with suggestions on things like weather, and what's new around you. And once you start using the device, it'll start populating over at the left of the home screen. All in all, the phone seems like a good option. The Honor 8 Pro is available for around 500 to $550 overseas. So for about 30 to 35,000 rupees, if it launches in India, it should be a good price for the device. Stay tuned for our full review with the Honor V9 slash Honor 8 Pro in the coming days. If you have any special requests or any special things you'd like us to check out on this device, do let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, guys, don't forget to smash that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can subscribe to iGyan and get notified each time we upload a new video. This is me Bharat. I'll see you guys in the next one.